particular sense sometime uh, sometime we need to have a looping statement uh, where we want to repeat a particular task a number of times so we generally use the looping statement so in this uh, tutorial we will understand how you can loop your program to n number of time using the blue prism process studio so let's start with creating a new process So let us take a small example. Uh, let's suppose if we want to print uh, numbers uh, from 1 to 10. So how we can do it? So in Blue Prism, we don't have uh, the statement like in other languages for loop, while loop, or do while loop. We don't have such stages in uh, Blue Prism. So if there is a requirement to repeat a business process, so how we can achieve? Let's see. So to create a, a looping program to print 10 numbers, so let us declare one variable, variable or let us name as counter. Let it be a number. Let's start the counter with one and okay. Let me have another counter. endpoint and uh, it is number let this be 10 okay now uh, we'll have a decision statement we will say if counter should be less than or equal to endpoint okay just press OK. Now I want to print some message also. And uh, message. Let me rename the variable name as message. I also want to increase one value at a time. So let us use the calculation. Increment. Now here we will add plus one with each increment and we'll store the value within counter. Now we'll simply link these stages one other decision it's true then uh, if it is false no then we need to loop it again and let me link this stage with this now let me give you the property name is check counter value. So here it is doing, first the condition is checked, if the condition say that if the counter is less than the endpoint, if the condition is true, then it will increase the value and uh, it will store the value of counter into the message. Now let me put another calculation message let me link it uh, 
I just want to concatenate the message. The value of counter is plus or counter bracket and here I will say message. Now let us run this program once. It will start it, it will check the condition and it will concatenate. I will see the counter value is getting increment one by one. So you are comparing the value of counter each time and when the condition is false, the business process get terminated. And the program ends successfully without an error. Now, if you see, the counter current value was 11, and uh, the, the initial value was assigned as 1. And uh, this is the message which keep on changing. The value of counter is 11. So by putting a decision stage, we can uh, compare whether the condition is met. Otherwise, loop uh, the program back to the decisions. This way we can achieve a looping in Process Studio. Thanks for watching uh, the video. If you have any doubts, then please connect me at my email ID, suresh.madra at yahoo.com. Bye.